Welcome back everybody. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about Churchill Capital. Before I start the video guys, please make sure to leave a like on the video below. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Join the family guys. Let's go on our investor journey together. So today we're going to be talking about Churchill Capital. Why I think Churchill Capital stock is a very good buy at $30 and why I think Churchill Capital is actually a very good long-term value play. But before I start the video, guys, please make sure to leave a like on the video below. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Join the family, guys. Let's go on our investor journey together. So let's talk about Churchill Capital. Let's talk about what the company has been up to. So if you guys didn't know, Churchill Capital and Lucid Motors just recently announced a merger, right? That was back in February, which was probably one of the biggest news. If you guys don't know what Lucid Motors actually does, Lucid Motors is an EV company that's based out of California, right? They wanted to go public, but instead of going public through an IPO, they decided to go public through a merger with Churchill Capital, which actually did leave Churchill Capital stock kind of, you know, soaring. If we take a look at the three month chart here, you know, the stock was up $57 based on the rumors alone. But ever since the merger was kind of denounced, you know, and the merger basically went through or not went through, but basically since ever since the merger was actually announced altogether, Churchill Capital kind of started to sink a lot and it's kind of slowly been making its way back up. And there's obviously many reasons for that one. Lucid Motors is a very established EV company. It's not like a push over EV company. You know, they have factories already built. They have a factory in Arizona. They're building a factory in Saudi Arabia. It's got a billion dollar funding from Saudi Arabia as well. And they also plan on starting production this year, like starting to roll out cars. You know, their luxury reservations are almost filled to the brim, so they can't take any more reservations for their vehicles. Even really taking a look at the schematics of their vehicle, you know, you can see that it's definitely a high value vehicle, right? It offers a very good range, a very quick charge, lots of horsepower on a performance base, and you know, it's really a good competitor with Porsche and Tesla on kind of the competitive sector of that market. But another reason why I think people should actually be picking up Lucid Motors, there's obviously a lot of reasons why people should be picking up Lucid Motors. One of those reasons actually has to do with the fact that, you know, the EV market is a very explosive market and it's going to be set to grow for a very long time. Now, I want people to know if you're buying Churchill Capital now, you guys should be looking at the longer term perspective of where the company could actually be over the next three to five years. And the reason I say this is because it does take time for EV companies to actually get going, to get themselves on the road and to start selling vehicles, get better sales and stuff like that. So, you know, people always use Tesla as a comparison. People always use Tesla as the example, but people have to forget it took Tesla about 15 to 16 years to basically get to where the company is today. You know, when Tesla first started or was first founded and first went public as well, you know, there were a lot of bears on the stock. A lot of people didn't really think that the company was going to make it, but with Lucid Motors, you know, as the EV market has started to evolve, as people have started to see the benefit altogether, and a lot of these big time car companies like Volkswagen, Ford, are all racing to, to basically make an electric vehicle that can compete with Tesla. This puts Lucid Motors in a very good spot and why I actually think people should actually be picking up the stock. Now we do know for a fact that the growth for Lucid Motors is gonna be very explosive, but it's Lucid Motors job here to actually perform, make sure people actually like their vehicles and even taking a look at the schematics of the Lucid Motors, you know, the inside is very beautiful, it's very luxurious, you know, and, and it is a very good vehicle that could actually compete with Tesla's Model S, which is a very good thing coming into it. You know, this is probably going to be Tesla's main competitor here in the United States and Lucid Motors definitely does not want to take no as an answer. Lucid Motors definitely wants to be on that competitive edge. But what does give Lucid Motors a competitive advantage is, you know, technology has come such a far away which does give the ability for updated features. You know, the Tesla Model S hasn't really received any revamped features ever since it's went public. You know, yes, they put in like a cooler steering wheel, stuff like that, but really they haven't really changed the body style at all. Kind of just left it alone while Lucid Motors is coming in with a brand new vehicle that could definitely be the next Tesla. It could definitely compete with Tesla's Model S, but really diving in, you know, there's also a lot of big time analysts that are getting a little bit more bullish on Churchill Capital or soon to be known as Lucid Motors. Now, Jim Cramer actually did interview the CEO, I believe it was Tuesday night, and basically Jim Cramer had nothing but good things to say about the company itself, basically saying that Lucid Motors is probably going to be the next Tesla. And obviously, that's a very good sign that when analysts are getting more bullish on the stock, it, it's a good sign that, you know, this is probably a very good time to be picking up the stock. You know, there's a lot of big time analysts who are also picking up Churchill Capital, but I do want people to understand that this is also going to be a long-term value play. The reason I say this is because it does take companies some time to actually get going on their feet, to start rolling out vehicles. And the biggest thing right now that a lot of people are not talking about is Lucid Motors being able to fulfill the, the basically the production capacity that it wants or it's quoting, you know, and obviously there's been talks about a chip shortage and stuff like that. So 
you know, it's going to be Lucid Motors' job here to really step up to the plate. But for me, I really do see a high value. Now, obviously, everything I say in my videos is not financial advice. It's just my personal opinion. But really diving in and taking a, a great look at the company and really the schematics that it offers, you know, led by good management and really being in a very explosive market, you know, Churchill Capital as a stock has nowhere to go but up. And my overall price target for Churchill Capital is actually $78 by the end of the year. And the reason I say this is because, you know, Yes, it was almost, you know, trading very high. If we take a look at the three month chart altogether, you know, the stock was trading on $58, $57, you know, basically traded in the 60s for a little bit as well. You know, once the merger actually got announced, the stock actually started to sink. And I understand it's kind of like a trading strategy where, you know, people will like buy the news, sell the hype kind of thing or, you know, so it's a very common strategy. You know, it happens a lot, but I think people are kind of underlying the huge potential that Lucid Motors and Churchill Capital, once it actually goes, the merger actually goes through the underlying potential that this company actually has, you know, nobody really knows where the stock could be over the next couple of years. Right now, the stock is still super cheap for a company that's going to be offering a high value product in a very explosive market. You know, even taking a look at the one year chart, yeah, the stock just went public September 18th of 2020, but it's still up 190% of its value. So for the people who did catch it early are still up pretty big. And right now, currently sitting at $29.67, I still think it's a very good value price to be picking up the stock for what this company is actually going to offer. I think it's a very good value for an EV company that has the potential chance to rival Tesla to basically be the next Tesla. You have a lot of big time analysts who are kind of behind it. You know, the company already has 9,300 reservations as of February 2020, and the company's already projecting a huge amount of sales in the coming years. Now, like I said, you know, when it comes to investing in Churchill Capital Lucid Motors, it's definitely going to be a patience game, not for what the company can actually do by the end of the year, but more so or less where the company can actually be over the next couple of years. The only thing holding Churchill Capital or Lucid Motors back right now is they delayed production on their vehicles, but it wasn't really a definitive date. So nobody really knows when Churchill Capital or Lucid Motors is actually going to start producing its vehicles or actually getting their vehicles out on the road. But the merger already went through, you know, so it's coming pretty close to the date where Churchill Capital is no longer going to be trading as Churchill Capital. It's soon going to be trading as Lucid Motors. And I do see a lot of upside potential from this stock over the next couple of years. I think this stock does offer a pretty good value for the price it's currently sitting at right now for the potential chance of it to be the actual next Tesla. Now, it's getting really competitive and that's probably what Lucid Motors also has to look out for. You know, being in the EV market, it's a very competitive market. It's a very it's a market that's very explosive. A lot of manufacturers are racing to basically produce the best possible EV vehicle that you can, but I'm sure Lucid Motors on that end is going to be able to deliver just fine because Lucid Motors is definitely worth an investment and I do think that the stock is going to hit 75 to 80 dollars by the end of the year. With that being said, guys, that's all I really have to say about the video. Let me know down in the comment section below, guys, what you think of Churchill Capital. Do you guys think Churchill Capital is worth a buy at $29.77? If you guys own Churchill Capital stock, how many shares do you guys own and what's your average? I'm always very curious to know. With that being said, guys, thank you. Have a great day.